All right, so from P2 and P3, we just have just one question off of P3, number 75. And let's go with it here. There it goes. Okay. Uh, if you don't have the question in front of you, go get to it here. It's one, x plus 1 over x is equal to 3. It says find the value of um, x squared plus 1 over x squared. Find that right there. Interesting. Cool. <clears throat> Let's see. I guess we've got to make this guy look like this guy. Is that right? One little small problem is that if you go over here, and again, just kind of thinking out loud here, if you square this, right, it's not going to produce this. Okay, when you square something like that, it's going to give you x plus 1 over x times x plus 1 over x. If you do that, you're going to get x squared. There's my x squared that I want. Plus, let's see, x times 1 over x. Isn't that just going to become a 1? Is that right? Because the x and the x over 1 are going to cancel each other out like this. If you do the inside a foil, 1 over x times x is going to give you another 1 because the x are going to cancel. And this one's going to give you 1 times 1 is 1, x times x is x squared. So really this becomes x squared plus 2 plus, and turning it around a little bit more, how about x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 2. We good? So squaring this gives you x squared plus 1 over x squared plus this little extra 2 in there. Um, sorry, I see like people in the audience like I'm used from Mars. So let's slow down a little bit here. <clears throat> we know this is true, right? <clears throat> we're trying to make this, we're trying to make one of the sides the same. So they're, so they look the same. Cool. So I can either square this guy, I can technically square this and square this at the same time. My only little problem is when I do square it, and let me actually get rid of the, when I do square this, <clears throat> this is going to give me a 9 over here, right? But squaring it gives me this little extra 2 in there. So my job is just to make, convert this into this on the left hand side and see what I have on the right hand side. And then when I do that, then I give myself equal. And this is all really concept of what does it equal mean? Equal means if 3 is equal to x, you know for sure x is equal to 3. Right? We're good there? Or if y is equal to x squared plus 5, I can interchange those two. Those are interchangeable things now. Cool? So I go from here. I square this. So let me go now in order here. So this squared becomes x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 2. Good there so far? Let's see if I can show it a different way, maybe. <clears throat> ah, okay, let me, let me, I think this would be a little better here as I'm thinking about it. This would be a little more forward way of seeing it. Okay, I see this. I'm going to square this side and square this side. After squaring this, like we did on the previous slide, we get x squared plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 over x squared is equal to 9. <clears throat> then eventually simplified version it gives me this. And then I can just do subtract 2 from both sides and it'll give me x squared 1 over x squared is equal to 7. We good there? So I've made x plus 1 over x into an x squared plus 1 over x squared and the result is 7 because I knew that originally it was 3. Well, that's just the beginning of it because that's just part A. Part B says how to get x to the fourth plus 1 over x to the fourth. So I'm going to start off now I have now I have proved this already. That is true. So now let's go to the next step. Let's square this. Square this side. And again that's going to give us x to the fourth plus 1. Everybody okay with the plus 1 there somewhere? Because it's going to be x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 1 
plus 1 over 4 is equal to 49. All right, so that gives me x to the fourth plus one over x to the fourth plus two this time, equal to 49, scooting the two over, and I got myself 47 is what I got now. Again, all this is because x plus one over x equals three. Let me just, out of curiosity, let me just check here. Another way to do it? How about if we figure out what x is? If this is true, let's multiply both sides by x, right? Because that's a common denominator. So I multiply this guy by x, this guy by x. So that gets me x squared. That gets me just a 1, is that right? This side gives me a 3x. So I see an x squared here, I see an x squared, so I'm going to try to move it over here so that I can factor. And the question I have for you guys, can you factor this? Can you solve it for x? Yeah, you're going to do the x box or whatever you like there, but uh, the question still remains, can you factor this down? I need no two numbers, multiply to 1, add to negative 3. Not going to happen. We good? So then there's no possible way I could do this by factoring, figure out what x is, and just plug it in. I have to set it up so that my equal, my equal signs are giving me the answers, which is kind of fun. <clears throat> OK, good there? Okay. All right, anything else, P1, uh, P2, or P3? Just making sure you guys are awake. Good, good. Like that.